Kesi TV lawan rasipi daka Frank Yamaha the Maxi Sports Scooter Aerox 155 ringkat baka net foodish order mapi ngin wan ramani hakir dob yeng jompi ka senjo kinong sensar sinong kabriu nyo trap haringkat ka khasi jantia church leaders forum Kala pelong jin duai hake jan mie cok arpu lai terik unai weng ara jar arpu ar hasti central library. Nak kebenta ke jing jat hat ke men siem cong kisan ngot kinong syok shinong cong ke shinong mukro ke belah syak siat yap hake ketang suloi cong kipu liat asam. Hadian beladak pelong jin duai kila sedang sa ke jing tang mempeti kum kadak ke jing solem halor ke teke jing jah. Ha kini ke jan mie lawan ru bani siman talang do menteri rangba ke jelau konrat kong kel sang ma u sembut menteri rangba u bak prestuan ten song U Menteri Sorkar U Bak San Bor Shulai Ki MLA MDC U Chief Secretary Bat ke Deputy Commissioner Jaka East Coast Hills Ke Kong Isawanda lalu As members of the civil society, together with our honourable Chief Minister and his cabinet colleagues, to bring to you all all the sad and unexpected incident that we, as the citizens of the states, we have experienced yesterday. Yes, Father, we know that you are the Lord of the creation. You are the master of the universe. And all lands belong to you. All the creation belongs to you, Lord. And yes, Father, especially, you have made us in your image that we can live, work, and work according to your protection and your guidance. But sometimes, Father, we have to meet with all the challenges of this life, unexpectedly, unknowingly, which affects the very lives of every citizen of this state. This is the time that we uphold the whole village of Mukro and especially the families of those who have lost their dear ones. This is the time, the occasion we have come together to pray to the Almighty God, to comfort and to strengthen those who are in grief and in sorrow. We all know that death is one thing that no one can escape. It comes to each one in one form or the other. And yet, when death comes, be it a natural death, that is of old age, or of illness, when death comes, we all feel sad and find it difficult to accept that someone, our dear ones, is no more, no longer with us. How much more difficult it is to accept when death comes to our dear ones in the form that we have heard what happened at Mukra village. 
when death comes by accident or by evil intention, how much more difficult it is for us to accept. And therefore, let us bear with the village of Mukro, with the families of those who have lost their dear ones. It will take them a much longer time to come to terms with all that has happened to them and to the village of Mukro. Friends, I'm sure we all believe that God, the Creator, is the one who gives life to all people. This is one thing which I'm, I'm sure we all believe, that it is God, the Creator, who gives life to each and every person. And therefore, our lives belong to Him. And ultimately, we all return to Him. Science and technology has advanced to such an unimaginable extent in the world today. And yet, human life remains a mystery. Have we ever thought of this contrast? Science and technology has gone up to, to space. There's nothing else that science and technology cannot do. And yet human life is a mystery. And therefore, friends, as we gather together this evening here for this special purpose, with this mystery of human life, let us accept and let us be conscious that life on earth has a purpose. Each one, each life on earth has a purpose and that purpose is God's purpose for us. We have lost five precious souls, five, five precious lives in that village in such an unfortunate way. But let our faith in God be strong. Let our faith in God be strong. Let the blood of these, our brothers, who have been killed yesterday, let their blood be a precious sacrifice, a precious sacrifice that one day will bear the good fruit for the state of Mekalaya. It is a very sad, shocking incident, but let us console ourselves with this, and the, let us console ourselves, let the whole village console itself, and the family members console themselves with this thought, with this thought, that their lives be a precious sacrifice for the state of Mekalaya. But let us join hands, join hands together, to heal the wounds and the broken hearts of our brothers and sisters. I appeal to all NGOs, to all civil societies, which continue to work, which continue to enlighten, which continue to work for the welfare of all communities, to extend all possible help at this time of crisis of our state. And we appeal to the state government through our chief minister that the truth of the matter be brought to light. Because we are in the dark, still in the dark. We do not know what is the, the real cause, what, why it has happened in that way. Let the truth come out and let justice be delivered to those who deserve justice. And as the state government to kindly extend all assistance to those, uh, to, to the people of Mukro and the families who mourn and grieve at this time. 
So friends, sing khasi, niyam tree, temples, mosques, gurudwaras, and all churches. Let us continue to pray that God, the Almighty, will grant peace and rest to the departed souls. Let us continue to pray that God the Almighty will grant strength and comfort to those who mourn and grieve for the lost lives of their dear ones. Let us continue to pray to God that God will grant a speedy recovery to all those who have been injured. And let us continue to pray that God will grant the will, the courage, and the wisdom to our state government through our chief minister and all your cabinet, your colleagues. The will, the courage, and the wisdom to deal, to see, to the needs of the state and problems that are all around the borders may be resolved in an acceptable way. Friends, in God we all can be one and with God we all can have the victory, the victory of good over evil. Thank <laughs> you. 
for the entire state. So once again. <laughs> Uh, our visit was basically to meet the families of the uh, individuals, I mean, the family members of uh, the departed souls, the people who lost their lives, and uh, to express our condolence and uh, be with them in the time of grief. And uh, this has been a very unfortunate and a very tragic uh, incident. And uh, during this tough time uh, for those family members and for the entire village, uh, as a government, we wanted to show our solidarity to uh, them, and that is why we went there. Uh, and uh, today in the evening, we are here to be part of this uh, prayer uh, program that we're having, which was organized by the Sinjuk Kirang Bashnong and uh, the uh, religious leaders from different religious groups. And uh, I would like to thank them for having organized this and having invited us and a very strong message uh, of uh, unity has gone through this prayer meeting and the fact that uh, we as a state are together and uh, in these difficult times that those families are facing and the entire village is facing the message from here from this prayer meeting is that our prayers are with them we are with them and in we express our complete solidarity with them. So this was the pro uh, program we had in the morning and in the evening today. When an incident like this happens, when a tragic incident like this happens, uh, emotions do run high. And uh, we understand that uh, these are very uh, difficult moments for everybody and there's a lot of uh, uh, difficulty and a lot of anger also and emotion there. And uh, there could be certain strange incidents which could happen. But uh, let me assure everybody that uh, from the government side, we have taken all measures possible to ensure that we are able to maintain law and order uh, in the state. We have asked all different uh, leaders from different groups, traditional heads, localities, religious heads to come together so that we are able to maintain peace and harmony in the state. And I would like to use this particular forum through the media also to appeal to our citizens that uh, yes, these emotions are running high, uh, but uh, violence and uh, other ways uh, are not the ways to resolve this problem. Uh, we have to find the right way to move forward. We need justice. We will do our best from the government side and we'll ensure that swift action is taken in all these aspects. And tomorrow we'll be meeting the Home Minister along with uh, my other colleagues and we'll be taking up uh, very important concerns and issues regarding this particular.